my second week into that LG bioplastic project. But just about a week, I ordered algae from online sources where once I got this plate of one drop of algae, which cost me my chana, which is unreasonably too expensive. So I ordered again and so I got algae. I got chlorella because and the internet it says that it's some it's an algae that photosynthesis three times more than a usual algae. So I guess since I'm gonna have a light source, I figure it'll be more beneficial for the algae to grow. But currently I have got three jars of just distilled water and algae. Initially, I got a 100 ml algae, which wasn't even saturated. But since this is the first time I'm growing this, I wanted to test all the variables out. So, in one jar, I just put only distilled water. In this jar, I put the water and sodium bicarbonate and eggshells. And I put water, sodium bicarbonate, and algae. And the reason why I put sodium bicarbonate is because NaHCO3 usually provides the algae with the carbons they need to photosynthesize which I got the idea from since from a um, science experiment we did in the bio class because we do a shiny photosynthesis so I guess it would work the same way if I add it to the water which I did the reason why I put uh, eggshell was because eggshell is made of CaCO3 so, uh, which is the same component of limestones Chalkboards. If my chemical formula is right, CCO3 will provide carbon dioxide to the water itself as well. The problem I faced was first I had money. I had enough money to buy a chlorella, but I didn't have money to buy an air pump, a professional incubation, plant food. But I was just some jars, water, and chlorella. So I was like, how am I supposed to grow this? So I searched the internet and apparently it says around something like algae grows in a temperature of 27 Celsius, and, which is an optimal temperature and it requires lots of plant foods like biotin, limestone, or like the CO, CO3 pillar, so you know, like there's like a whole list of periodic tables and I was like, I'm fed up and I can't get all this stuff, so what am I gonna do? So I got eggshell, I crushed it, and I put it under here. The mix result is that the one with uh, CA, um, CaCO3 as eggshells and sodium bicarbonate grew the most. Let's take a look. So basically, it looks kind of like this. Like eggshells in the bottom, and it's not as around greenish. And how I set up my light source was very simple, just like this. With okay, this is what I use to measure the growth of algae because I want to check the weight, but the weight doesn't work because the jar itself is too heavy for this machine to detect. Like it went over the limit, so I could I can't do that. And also the problem is that since the bottle is open, it's exposed to the atmosphere and the heat of this lamp is evaporating the water therefore the measurement of weight would not be accurate so I, couldn't, I can't do that and the other method they suggested in the internet was to count the number of algae in one slide which is too tiresome I'm, I'm not jobless to do that so I eradicated, eradicated that choice and the only choice I had left was to check optical density or light intensity and therefore I made this Okay. And we place it like this, and then I took photos. Ow, ow, ow! Every day, like this. Okay, you're welcome. Yes. James is a science nerd. Bye, bye. There was some random strangers, and so that's 
So I kept it under incubation. I kept it under this red basket for incubation to keep a constant temperature in. If my reading is correct, it's around 26 Celsius, which is adequate for all well, to grow. And I turned the light on for 24 hours, 24 hours, 7, like 24 7, like every day, so that um, it'll grow faster. Yes. Only problem was that some random strangers would come and like pluck this out. That's why I made like a sign saying, please don't plug it out without please there, but whatever, yeah. And hope it should be growing sporadically any moment now. Oh, to jump to conclusion, I haven't found an actual way to calculate. I haven't found an actual way to calculate if my algae is growing or not. I just have to rely on my beliefs and my visual senses. However, yep. So I've talked to my bio teacher, and he said to use uh, light. So I'm trying to get a device to record the light density, optical density. So that would take some time, but I think it's growing nicely. 